Welcome to Entertainment Highlight on Breakfast Daily. My name is Kwame Dazi. Amrado is receiving a lot of plaudits for his delivery at one of Tim Westwood's freestyle sessions. The session also features other American artists like Yao Talk and Kweku Flake. Even though all the three acts proved their metal on the show, Amrado's performance has caught people's attention because of his unmatched flow, confidence, and lyrical power. He sold Ghana well, not forgetting his Kumerica roots. In his delivery, he mentioned some of the things Ghanaians pride themselves with as their heritage, named some Ghanaian artists who have the potential to win a Grammy, acknowledged other A-list artists who have blazed the trail, and asked YouTube to establish an office in Ghana. Typical of most rappers, he threw shots at other MCs, claiming the best rapper position over all of them. Amrado has won the hearts of many music lovers over the past few years as one of the best rappers in Ghana. He was nominated in the Best Rap Performance category at this year's Vodafone Ghana Music Awards but lost to Eno Baroni. He has vowed to win this award next year. Ghanaian musician and social activist Black Rasta has spoken about the absence of more celebrities at the Fix the Country demonstration which was held last week. Speaking on the chat on City TV, he told AJ Support that he was glad that most celebrities did not make it to the demonstration. He stressed that most of the celebrities who took part in the social media campaign probably did so because that is what they felt comfortable with. Black Rasta, also the host of Taxi Driver on Xylophone FM, said that Ghanaian celebrities celebrities can be likened to Andrew Liversalt. He said, quote, A lot of our celebrities are Andrew Liversalt celebrities. When you put Andrew Liversalt in water, it boils out quickly and fizzles out in no time. Unquote. According to him, these celebrities have the energy for breaking news. The moment something breaks, everybody rushes to have a big chunk of it and then they relax sooner than later. Black Rasta joined hundreds of Fist the Country protesters who took to the streets of Accra on Wednesday to demonstrate against what they say is the government's poor handling of social and economic situations in the country. A few months ago, the campaign started on social media with a lot of Ghanaians jumping on the trend. According to the conveners of the campaign, the demonstration is just the first of many to happen in the coming days. Thomas Markle Jr. isn't very fond of his half-sister Meghan Markle. Thomas called the Duchess of Sussex shallow in the first trailer for Australia's Big Brother VIP on which he is one of 12 celebrity contestants. Thomas describes himself as the biggest brother of them all in the teaser released on Sunday on Twitter which also brags about warning Prince Harry not to marry Meghan. Ahead of the couple's May 2018 royal wedding, Thomas, who shared father Thomas Markle with Meghan, sent a scathing handwritten letter to Harry in which he warned the prince that it was not too late to turn back. He also wrote that Meghan was obviously not the right woman for Harry and alleged that she was acting the part of a princess like a below sea average Hollywood actress. Notably, Thomas Jr. was not invited to the nuptials, nor was his sister Samantha Markle, who has also been outspoken about her estrangement from Meghan. And that's all for entertainment highlights on Breakfast Daily. My name is Kwame Dazi.